It reminds me of your deep seductive eyes I ask the question why Does it hurt so inside When the thoughts of you race through my mind
We're in public. Is she excited? Me? You're just trying to seduce me into getting your own way. I don't know what you mean, David. I thought we could have four bridesmaids. Lucy's chief bridesmaid was blue satin, and Sophie and Mia in white satin with a blue sat. Those are gorgeous. The more you think about it, these weddings are a great money spinner for businessmen. You think Molly should wear white? She always gets so dirty. Maybe blue would be better. And the rest of my case. How much? How can you think about money at a time like this? They're also a really good money spinner for the church. Molly should definitely wear blue. And it makes the government legally a third party to the marriage. I mean, two's company, but three's a crowd, baby. You want a threesome? How can you say such a thing, David? Open your eyes, Maria. Well, I'm having a threesome with anyone. We could leave the wedding in a hot air balloon. And wouldn't it look splendid if we released a flock of doves at the same time as the hot air balloon? Maria, that's 11,000 pounds. And darling, look, we could have diamond embedded rings. Look, they're called souls. <laughs> okay. Oh, David. Anything else? And we could have a three tier cake with a, on a golden platter. Mm hmm. And honeymoon, maybe? A honeymoon? On a, of course, a honeymoon on a private island in the seashells. So, altogether, that's £23,452. Well, it's only once in a lifetime, David. Would you prefer if I hired the dress instead of buying it? A 23 pence. To economize. Well, Maria, it's just a con. What this wedding business? It's like Christmas. Christmas? Yeah. I don't get it. How did you work that one out? Well, think about it. First of all, the church, they moved Jesus' birthday from spring to the 25th of December. You're joking. I don't believe it. No, it's true. Have a look on Google. Have you got a pin, babe? <laughs> Maria. Jesus died for us. He was crucified at Passover, and then he was reborn. Oh, everybody loves Christmas and Santa Claus. It's when you show everybody how much you care about them. How? <coughs> By going out and buying them presents they don't want, wrapping them in shiny paper, and then just throwing them away. That's all this damage to the planet. Well, you won't find me being influenced by television or ads or magazines. Really? When I have kids, I want to have time to spend with them, talk to them, and teach them things. I'll just go out and work all the time, so I can buy them all this stuff they don't need. But I'm not having my kids going without, David. What did you know? Santa is also an anagram for Satan. <laughs> oh, wow, you're so clever. So do you want kids then, David? Yeah, of course I want kids. Well, don't you? Of course I do. If we're not married, I'll be part of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm -hmm. Well, of course I've read the Bible. Well, you see, then what's your point? Well, it says in the Bible. Who do you think you're talking to, young man? That in order for a couple to be married, they have to make a solemn promise before God. Yes, that's where I come in. Make love, and then that's it. Well, you see, the thing is, Maria and I, we had a hand fest. So technically, we're already married. And my problem is, then the church became involved, and we had to pay a license fee to get that. It's like your TV license, but you only pay it once. Oh, God, this is absurd! And you can stop your carrot pig! 